Oh boy. <laughs> this poor girl decided to turn up at her front door, only to find out that we've got some angry ghosts. Oh dear. Anyways. Hello everybody! Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome back to the Evermore Legacy! Where we left off struggling to not be terrified of literally everything, and apparently... Can we not walk past these dolls? Can we go here? Yeah, come on, let's... There we go, go over here. Okay. You know what, let's invite, let's invite her in. She came over to fix something, apparently. Let's go ahead and invite her in. But yeah. Um, behind the scenes... I finally figured out how to get those sacred candles. Where are you going? Oh, she's off to go and nap over here. Well, hopefully your terrified moodlet will go away. But yeah, behind the scenes, I finally figured out how to get sacred candles. She was so terrified, like she literally could not function. We need to get rid of these dolls. Oh, we can do that at some point. We can get rid of the creepy dolls when we're a little bit more awake. We- we just need to find a way to fix this house. Oh my gosh, Tina is not having a good time out here. Sorry, Tina Tinker. But yeah, we have these sacred candles. They do give a bit more of like a creepy, eerie glow to the house. But I plan on like putting them basically everywhere. Do I have any left? Yes. I'm gonna put- I'm gonna put some on the floor like right there. So hopefully, keeping them close by will- there we go, it's gonna continue to reduce the fear factor here. Let's make that fear factor go away. Oh, and we're awake, cannot remove the creepy dolls, but sacred candles are gonna be literally everywhere in the house. We just need to get rid of the terrified moodlet. Look at that. We, we're, we can't really do anything with that. Yes, yes, I know you're terrified. Go eat. Why is it going up now? Oh, also, we need to do a seance. We, we should be able to, like, perform a ceremony to reduce the... But we also need more energy to do that. That's the thing. Otherwise, everything gets worse. Anyways. Yeah, we are just struggling. The eerie glow does add to the fact that this is a haunted house, though. I will say that. Like, it does make it better. The whole hauntedness of the haunted house. And now you're just scared, not terrified. That's better. Can you remove creepy doll? Yes, okay. Let's do this. Get rid of the creepy doll. There we go. Also, I am going to... Do we have a gig selected? Um... No, tonight, let... I'm gonna go ahead... We'll do an easy one. I'm gonna send her on her own. Uh, let's go ahead, remove another creepy doll. Come on. Get rid of the creepy doll. It lowers the evilness of the house. And you're back to being terrified, of course. <sighs> how many more of these am I gonna need? How do I... I'm not gonna extinguish them. Here, this is how you get creepy... This is how you get the sacred candles. You go in here... I think it counts as a potion, technically. Yeah, sacred candles for 500 satisfaction. I'm just gonna spend the rest of my satisfaction points on these, because I need them. We're just gonna, like, scatter them everywhere in this house. Like, everywhere. There we go. Bathroom's gonna be a little bit creepy lit up, but you know what? That doesn't matter in the long run. We just need this place to be lit up. I'm putting candles basically everywhere I can around here. I've used basically all the candles I have. But, you know what, you're hungry. Why don't you just go and clean out the spoiled food and then make yourself something, I think. Oh, we're uncomfortable. If we're uncomfortable, that means we can get rid of this last doll. Let's do that. Come on. Destroy the final doll. There we go. And I think that there's this thing outside. Yes, remove the eerie hands. I am not having this creepiness today. Sorry, I cannot handle all the spooks today. I know, you're uncomfortable. Deal with it. And now, yeah, go sleep until your job, I guess. Yeah, it starts in an hour. Go take a nap. You need it. I'm gonna go ahead and send her alone. It's time for her investigation. But she is going on her own, so take care, Lydia! Goodry's out here. Once we get back, I need to talk to him about 
everything. I need to ask him about how to deal with... Hello. Keaton Marchest is here, apparently. And I saw him do the vampire thing. Do we have a vampire here? He looks like he's probably the vampire. Oh, hey, we have a good spear, though, as well as the evil one. Looks like Gudri and the vampire are chatting. Just kind of speeding through things while I wait for Lydia to come back. Yep, that was a vampire. He turned into a bat and flew away. How long is she gonna be gone? Is this gonna take like a full like eight hour shift or something? Oh great, there's another spooky doll. Wonderful, just what I needed. You know, in the future, I'm not sending Lydia to do this on her own. She's gonna pass out the second she gets home, yeah. Yep, and it got canceled, great. At least we're back home. And you know what? Let's remove the creepy doll. And then go sleep. Go sleep. You need your sleep. Oh, she's just gonna pass out. Right. Yeah, that, that's just to be expected, I suppose. At the very least, now we have two happy spirits. So, you know, I think that we're dealing okay with trying to get rid of all the evil around our house. And we're going to sleep. And Gudri's gone. Okay. Oh, it's Easter! Uh, let's see, we need to decorate our house. Um, and we like the flower bunny, apparently. We can invite some guests over. I don't think that guests are gonna want to come to our house and have a grand meal. Do I think we're gonna be able to do all of that? Probably not. Oh, actually, we need to scrub a root ourselves. We can do magic, that's right. Magic scrubberoo. Let's do this. You're gonna go outside to scrubberoo yourself? Apparently so. There we go. And our TV broke, so we should probably get that fixed. But also, we really need to take care of our fun needs, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's hunt for an egg, and then we'll just read something. I was thinking, oh, maybe we can, like, do some guard. Well, do we like gardening, actually? I think she likes gardening. Oh, uh, yeah, she does like gardening. So I could just, like, have her uh, tend to her garden. But the thing is, we can't sell any of this. Because our we, we can't make money through anything besides our job anymore. Oh, but at least we have a happy little ghost here. That's nice. Oh, hey, is that Amelia? Oh yeah, it is Amelia! Oh, no, she's leaving. I thought she was gonna come over and I could be like, Oh, hey, come on in! We should, like, have, like, an Easter celebration! But, no. I do kind of want to change it back to being Flower Fest, to be fair. It was changed to Easter with this save file. But I like I like the connotations of Flower Fest better. Because Easter is, like, usually, like, celebrated as, like, a religious thing, I guess. Oh, we're just hanging out with a ghost. Okay. Oh, and the ghost is not happy with us. Oh dear. That's not good. Oh my gosh, we're reading a trashy romance. Reel her in. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we immediately went to the kitchen. Let's go ahead. And you know what? Can I cook a grand meal? I don't think I can. I, I don't have a high enough skill. No grand meal, but I can make... Let's make a tortilla-wrapped veggie dog, I suppose. Amelia! We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Amelia! Okay! I thought that she and her fiancé weren't getting along, but apparently she's, like, thinking about trying for a baby? I mean... If you, if you, if you want to? I mean... I think she should decide for herself, honestly. I like, I think it'd be fun, but she should really decide for herself on this because of all, like, the issues she she and her fiancé have been having. But I feel like Lydia would be like, oh yeah, totally go for it! I don't know. I, that's just the feeling I get from Lydia. She'd totally be like, oh yeah, go for it. Alright, well, I think, yes, we'll do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. Alright, have fun, Amelia. I think this is the first thing we've ever cooked, actually. 
Oh my gosh, we've been like so caught up on like trying to deal with how haunted our house is. We've never actually had to cook for ourselves before. And I'm concerned now, suddenly. Well, thankfully, nothing got lit on fire. And we have a single tortilla wrapped veggie dog. Oh, level two now, excellent. I like how instead of going to the dining room to eat, we always take it to the seance table. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and invite some of our guests. Let's invite some of our friends over, I think. Might be a good idea. I'm also... I should buy a decoration box, because I know it can be very useful for, like... No, I can't do that. One of the rules is that I can't do anything else for money. Well, I'm still, I'm still gonna buy the decoration box. I'm just gonna stick in the corner over here. I'm gonna let her go ahead... And, um... We'll select some holiday decorations. Decorate the eaves for Easter. Oh, the flower bunny is here! Hang on, I need to see what our house looks like with all the decorations once... Well, we should go and chat with the flower bunny. Uh, we'll sing about Easter with the flower bunny, I suppose. Oh, look, there's like the little banners, okay. Amelia, what's up? And you wanna know Kennedy Rose Williams, but sure, go, go for it. I don't know who that is, but it sounds cool. I'm also starting to notice that when I start decorating for holidays, everything gets a little laggy. I think that's what's going on. I noticed it the last time I was doing the, um, the Whimsy Legacy, and I'm noticing it here. Oh, I just realized there's lights that are, like, underneath here that I can't quite see. Interesting. Oh, we have just a tree here. I think we're stuck. It might be nice to just put this tree that we pulled up, like, right here. Like, as, like, a decorative tree in our house. Probably pokes out a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. We're not gonna see it much. Gonna put those flowers there. Anyways, yes, chat with the flower bunny. Hi, hello, flower bunny. We apparently get along quite well with the flower bunny. Don't know why, we've never met the flower bunny before. And we're just we just went to sleep. Of course. Okay. Let's go ahead, wake up briefly, and talk to the flower bunny a bit. I want to get this done. And share the Easter spirit. Ask about day. There we go. Easter is complete. And Amelia's here. Hello, Amelia. Let's go ahead and invite Amelia in. Hey, Amelia. Welcome. Good to see you. And you know, I think we're gonna take a nap. Let's hunt for let's hunt for an egg. Basically everywhere, I think. And then I'm gonna take a nap. We need a nap. Oh, Flower Bunny's in our house now. Great. Wonderful. Welcome, Amelia. Make yourself at home. I know things are a little bit more spooky than they were last you were here. Don't mind that. Just because we have to deal with the ghosts. The ghouls. Don't mind the spooks. Don't see any since you're here. That's good. Flower Bunny's just depositing a bunch of snapdragons in the house. It's fine. I'll move them outside and we'll take care of them at a later time. Oh, thank you, Amelia. She's planting some of these flowers for us. Okay. Once we're awake, I'm gonna have Lydia come and, like, water these as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and water all these plants, because we kind of need them watered. I'm sure Amelia is going to be, like, continuing to plant them, and... We'll be continuing to... Water them as they're planted, I suppose. We can weed this one, spray this one for bugs. Just take care of this garden. It's a very nice garden. Getting lots and lots of, of, of flowers here. We haven't been taking as good care of this garden as we could have been, to be honest. Yeah, see, we're, we're taking- we're like- we're going and watering all the plants Amelia's been, like, uh, going ahead and planting. Yes, I know you're exa- she's getting to be very exhausted right now. Don't worry, once you're done being exhausted, I'm going to- Like, once you're done with all this, I'm gonna go ahead and send you home. Oh! Tradition complete, apparently. Oh, is this inviting guests? Invite guests? Is that because you have Amelia over? 
Oh, nice. Wait, can we not water these? Oh, is it because they're like too close to the edge? Oh, and Amelia's leaving. You know what? That's fine. We've we've had a great Easter. We'll just go ahead and just sleep the rest of the evening away. All right, no, before you sleep, go use the bathroom, then sleep. I noticed that she never uses the front door either. It's a little odd, but okay. Oh, is it because of this candle, maybe? That might be it. I'll move the candle to over here. Goodry the ghost! Wow, you've been living here for quite some time now. You know, most people would have turned tail and ran by now. But that's what I like about you. You never compromise, never give in. I may not have much, material possessions are kind of moot for a ghost. But I'd like to offer you something for your perseverance. Here, take my favorite jacket. Now don't worry, I've got plenty of them, but this is one I died at. I mean, this one is very special to me. Now keep it up! Plant your feet firmly in the ground. Haunted or not, this is your home. Life is what you make of it, and I know you'll make something good. Wait, what happened in this jacket again? Ah, oh, it's all in the past. Enjoy the coat! Thanks, I guess? Is Goodry not gonna show up anymore? Oh, we've got some haunted stuff showing up in our house, but... You know, we're just sleeping through it. We've got sacred candles. We don't care. We've got sacred candles. Our house is, like, all taken care of for now. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh! <gasps> this candle has reached the end of its brief life! <gasps> the candles die eventually! Oh! You know what? That's good to know. At least we're awake now. We'll go ahead and mop these mysterious symbols here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep an eye on things. I was not expecting the candles to actually... It makes sense, though. Of course they'd run out. But why did I think they wouldn't? Dang, okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, sense the spiritual volatility. Let's go ahead and do this. Teresa, Yuri, Norbany. How dire are things around here? How... Could I safely extinguish these candles until later time? The ones that are not half-melted. The ones that are not melted, I mean. Spectres are friendly! Paranormal activity is reduced! Awesome! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and extinguish this, some of these sacred candles until we need them, I suppose. I wonder if we can make sacred candles, like, at the candle-making station? If I extinguish them until I absolutely need them, like, I think that's a good call. Make sure that they don't run out. I'm also gonna go ahead and get another gig ready. Things are kind of lonely in here, honestly. I probably should have her, like, start to hang out more with her friends. I feel like if she wasn't, like, so caught up on trying to keep her house, like, ghost-free... I think that she'd be, like, trying to, like, spend more time, like, out on the town with her friends. We hung out with Amelia, like, just yesterday, but I kind of want to, like, send her to, like, other places. Not just the bar where we have those club meetings, but, like, other, like, lots. Like, maybe, like, a library. Maybe, like, bar just for the sake of hanging out. Maybe a dance club. Who knows? There's all sorts of places we could, like, just check out, hang out. And at some point we need to repair this. Wait, can we do magic and repair the TV at the same time? Is that what's about to happen? Let's give it a shot. It worked! Excellent! I feel like not much has happened this episode. But you know what? I think we finally figured out how to take care of all the spooky stuff in our house. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. So I think I'm gonna leave this episode off around here. Next episode, we're gonna like start actually like trying to have Lydia fill a more fulfilling life. That's what I want. I want Lydia to actually do well. I want Lydia to actually have fun, not just focus so much on making her home not haunted. Like that was important, it still is. But I also want her to like 
live a life that where she doesn't have to like be constantly on guard for ghostly activity and getting rid of haunted objects and struggling for money. I want Lydia to be happy. Because as it is right now, we are just doing a lot of the same stuff. Like, dealing with haunted stuff in our house. We are, like, maybe hanging out with a friend or two when they come over. Struggling to, like, get like get her needs met. I want her to live an actually fulfilling life. So, starting next episode, that's going to be our focus. But for now, guys, I'm going to leave this off here. So... If you all enjoyed this episode, please be sure to go ahead, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. Subscribing is completely free, and you can always unsubscribe at any time, but subscribing does really help out the channel. So again, thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the future. Stay safe out there, everybody.